believe that if American government could find the Binance over four billion dollars eh, for not following their anti-money laundry law, so they find them greatly. So if the UK government could also find them hundreds of millions of pounds for ignoring or violating the money laundry uh, laws in the UK. If the Indians and the India gov- I mean Indian government could find them also billions of dollars for violating uh, their own uh, anti-money laundry law, that makes them the easy target. Yes. Do you know that you can hide your money eh, in Bitcoin, in cryptocurrencies? You can hide them away. Sir, see, if you know how much money that uh, crypto, the people, the people who stole uh, Nigeria's money, eh, they have changed them to crypto. They have ch- put them in the crypto account inside their Binance. If you begin to shake them, eh, sir, eh, I swear to God who made me, you can collect up to $20 billion from them. If no mix. And that's exactly what Ribadu has acted on now. So the first day announced we are banning crypto. You know, it's so ridiculous, right? How many of you remember that? Uh, what's that guy's name? Something, something, Tijani? Yeah, that's a communication minister. How many of you been following him, like, on social media? <laughs> this guy was one of you. NSAS, uh, you know, NSAS activist. People will be talk. People will be talk like Mayegun, but maybe not like Mayegun. Because there's nobody like Mayegun. Let's be honest. In my own small right, too. But people will share Sabi talk. We can't get, we can't be tech bro. You know, you Sabi talk, you can't be tech bro. So tech bro, who believes that uh, they can use technology to resolve everything. You want to fight corruption? Let's use technology. You want to fight insecurity? Let's just do all those tech bros, right? Who can develop software here? The guy, from surprisingly, he accepted to work for Tifnumbu. And since then, he has been talking about crypto. He has been talking about P2P. He has been talking about, he has been organizing different, different, uh, what do you call it, gatherings, meetings. You go, go on social media, go and search for Tijani, communication minister, Nigeria. Now, he replace uh, Easter pandemic. Is the one that replaces a pandemic. It's a patent to me. The guy was talking about how Tifnubu's government is going to work with all the tech bros, cryptocurrencies, Dogecoin, Kenekon, Kenekon, all the pictures today in Pedro. The guy was talking about uh, crypto, this, crypto, that, and all of that, how to build an uh, ecosystem. We need to build an ecosystem and bring young people, young developers, creators, Baba. Now then, the way they don't tell us, oh, but no, 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 no. You don't feel good crypto. Crypto is banned. I don't know if it's, you have, if you have to tell all those guys that they do crypto together and tell them that, sorry, we know they do. Crypto is illegal now in Nigeria. Sure you get. So when they ban crypto and ban other things like that in Nigeria, nobody said they then get any power to ban anything per se. That one is just on PayPal. If they hear me now, because these are the foolish people that uh, are in power in that contraption. The foolish people that believe that to control the, what people say eh, online, they could go to their National Assembly to ask for a law, law that will turn internet to NEPA switch. So they can turn it off and turn it on, turn it off and turn it on. They have no idea what they are talking about today. So nobody said they get any power to ban crypto anywhere. They just told MTN, told all the network providers in Nigeria. You know, see, before you access your, before you access uh, your uh, wallet on Binance, hmm, you are going to need internet. Abi, Abi, is it all the apps? Are they internet free? I don't think so. So you're going to need internet, right? And your internet is provided by mostly the mobile network providers here you get from your sim card uh-huh. even if you buy yourself a modem i will tell the call that thing again that modem that uh, you will stick you will stick anyway 
Eh? Even if you have there, you still have to kind of need your... I think so, Shao, because I don't know. Because that's what uh, the Nigerian uh, Central Bank uh, believe will now control your access to it. If the police arrest you and see Binance app on your phone, you are committing a crime. They've done it before. Have you forgotten uh, Aboki FXC? When Emei Fioli was implementing similar policy, he said, because a lot of people were following Aboki Forex, I mean Aboki FXC. So Aboki FX is the speculator. He's the one that is now making uh, dollars and uh, to, to be that bad. Right? Ni sorry, Nigeria Naira to be crashing at the time. Emei Fioli blamed Burudi change operators, BDCs. In fact, because of these BDC guys, Emei Fioli went to the central, central area in Abuja eh? and he cut down the trees. Trees, we suppose they provide their coal, uh, shade and all of that thing. Emei Fioli cut down tens of trees to discourage people who are selling money under the trees just to make sure they rescue the Naira. But uh, when these ones came, Binance is the one on the, on the spot. So what did they do to Binance? They said, we have banned you here. If you, want to, if you want to talk to us, you need to come down here and talk to us. We don't want to hear anything. Anyway, people are already downloading VPN. VPN is when you can still be in Nigeria, but you can actually be in uh, California. Mm -hmm. You can be in San Jose. You can be in uh, New York. Adama Singh by Badon. You can be in uh, Tokyo, mm? which is uh, Benue, Makodi. You can be, you know, like that. You will see be in Benue, but you go to Tokyo. You go to uh, Abakaliki, but you go see the, you, I mean, you, you, go to, you go to talk from London. These guys should know that, right? But to them, ah, we are banning this, we are banning that. So those guys now went to Nigeria to go and meet with the authorities of Nigeria. Let's say, okay, listen, guys, let's, let's, let's have this chat. Okay. What happened is that uh, what do you want us to do? What would you like us to help you with? If you think that uh, uh, we have access to this order of dollars parking somewhere, no, that's not how it works. Or how can we help you? Or what can we do so that you, at least all this problem can be a thing? But more, as they enter the Badu office like this, the Badu just said they made a locked door. Small play. -o. Small play, Ribadu told them to lock doors. And he told those guys, like, say, NASA has catch them. Inside that same uh, NSA building, where they just built that one, we be like, uh -huh. and there, because Ribadu said, be like mini president. So if Bajabi Amole no day, Ribadu go be like, um, no joko. But nevertheless, Ribadu told them, made a short door, close the door. So, I got, what happened? I'm an American, he's British. You the mad. British America call. I don't ask you too much. I don't ask you about America. I don't ask you about uh, Britain. No. What happened is that for the past seven years, we want your company. Binance is not Nigerian company. Oh. Binance is not just, uh, it's not, I mean, Nigeria is just a little fraction of what people who operate there, right? But they believe that Nigerians all over the world uses it. And I think it's true. Now they want to see all of them. We don't use Binance before. They now ask these two guys. That's the report we had, though. Yeah, that's these two guys that uh, they will need to give them details. All the details of uh, all Nigerians. Any Nigerian that is on uh, Binance. Ridiculous, Abi. Well, that's what we heard. And they were there like, no. No, that's not how it works. We can't, we can't really do that. Or oh, you can't. Yes, we can't. Then you'll be detained. Currently now, they said they have locked the two of them up uh, at a guest house owned by the same Rebadu. Because the effort is that uh, they said they heard that if they want to save Naira, according to AZ Bida, Bayo Nonuga, eh? Ironuga, listen to him. It looks like the government is blaming saboteurs, saboteurs and the question will be whether or not uh, the saboteurs have taken over the reins of the economy uh, from this government. But l let me take you quickly. Oh, look, to... are, you, are you saying you, say you don't have saboteurs? They have saboteurs. Look at what Binance is doing to our economy. How did the government allow the saboteurs to take over? How did the government allow the saboteurs to take to have a sway? That's why that is why the government moved against Binance. Some people sit down using the cyberspace to dictate even our exchange rate, hijacking the role of the CDN. 
They just sit down and fix everything they like. And we were told, for instance, we were told that if we don't calm down on Binance, Binance will destroy the economy of this country. They just fix rates. So it's a, it's a digital hijack of the economy. That's what it looks like. Sabotage. It's a digital sabotage. hijack. There's some kind of hijack. And we are, we are trying to, put, put, to prevent that from happening henceforth. Uh, All right. Quickly. So we need government that. New Zans, Lily. New Zans, Lily. See, listen. I don't uh, really want to sound much like I, I sort of uh, love uh, this, this, this rogue so much, especially the older one. He said, they told them that if they don't do something about Binance, it would destroy Nigeria economy. But actually, Nigeria get economy right now. Let's be honest now. Hmm? He said some people will just sit on the internet. They will be dictating the exchange of Nigeria. But that's not true. That's absolutely not true. Why would they even send a Zibida to go and talk about their Binance? When all he's going to do there is just to use the way he knows how to do best. Propaganda. Say nonsense. Say jargons. Scream. Shout. And then leave. And there are people are believing now that, ah, soup don't land. All this one when Nigeria no get money. Eh? As they don't capture that two people now. Me Nigeria just make sure say Binance give them you know too much just fifteen billion. All this issue of scarcity will disappear. Do you see why Badonomics is right? They strongly believe that for Nigeria to get out of the economic uh, ruin, we are looters. Those who looted the entire economy are still parading themselves as their leaders today. They believe that uh, capturing two people representing a business or a company that is global, right? can fetch them $15 billion so that they can rescue the Naira. And they are those who are telling you to love for Kumbale. Hello, calm down. Showing us said, stop taking them. Uh, stop, stop. You know, everybody looking mad, didn't see you? And this is why you, you are not telling yourselves the truth. I mean, the truth. You are ignoring, uh, ignoring the truth. Eh? You are embracing lies and you want your lies to turn to truth so that it can be what you want it to be. That's not how world works. That's not how life works. You get that? It's what you put into it that it's going to give back to you. Trust me. You cannot uh, secretly be uh, defending uh, rogues whose uh, career have always been creating criminality and then expect them to somehow turn around and turn good leads and say, you know, I saw a video uh, just a few minutes ago before I came on here, right? They say two guys were playing uh, Ludo. You know that uh, board game, Ludo. So they were playing Ludo and police came. Um, a police come on share cutlass so when they try to come the market say people kill you they check you know you know sub gong what did they happen eh the reason why everybody is going to remain angry and hungry mm? is because you see this voodoo economics the ones that are pointing fingers and expecting windfall from somewhere eh they are those who are promising you things abi olok pashima wa sha uri elumi yimo lento rikwe that the smell say you the cooking to me you never hear, you never see oh, this one a Ludo. Well, you go see police, my way go jump window, punch you, machete you. They say, wait till officer, wait till I do. You say, they cook in me. You they cook no do. In this economy, are you a kidnapper? Are you a ritualist? Where did you see money to buy in me? They say, officer, now so, that's why you macheted me for head. Take a look at this one. <laughs> Okay, okay, for the field. What is my my phone? Don't call. Don't call my phone. But in offense, I ain't got number now. Yes. <laughs> 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 Yeah. 
Ndi baba eluwa, is inside his father's house. So police went there. Say, why are you playing Ludo? Pa, pa, pa. Ki no de, ki ni, wait ti apu. Say, why are you angry officer that is playing Ludo? You shouldn't be playing Ludo in this economy. Eh? What is wrong with all of you? Why should, Why are you, I mean, why are you playing Ludo in this Nigeria economy? So I just wanted to know that uh, they are failure and all of you are thinking that they could probably pull it off. You are seeing all of this. So some people are already saying those Binance guys, they have been kidnapped. The money that Nigeria is asking from them is ransom. And if nobody is looking for investor, investors came to your country to come and discuss a problem that is concerning to your country. You arrested them and you're about to demand for ransom. Investors are coming. Don't bug it. Like, uh, you know. Another thing here is this. They say, there's a place called Goni. Um, I, can, I can't remember the full name right now, but it's somewhere Goni in uh, Kaduna. So where the terrorists, same terrorists who were reported to have also ransacked about four villages in, uh, in uh, Kaduna. I'm sorry, in Katsina where they have killed over 100 people. Majority of you don't, they don't move anymore. So, I will tell you now that uh, uh, the, the Zamfara terrorists have killed 45 people. 45 people! And so now they just sit down there, they watch me like, hmm. that's very sad. And you can continue, please, continue. Ah! I said they just killed 110 people have been killed. And you know, I say, hey. Nigeria, ah, that country. Anyway, my you can continue. 110 people can continue because there's the one minute silence. They have made sure that a lot of you have grown so cold that we, they are now telling themselves, it will not be today, people they die, Jari. My brother, may God just say, protect all of us. This country, eh? you see this country. I only got fear of this country. My Egon, please continue. Continue. I am enjoying what you are saying. Continue that other one. So these people are like, if you can't protect us, could you please let us protect ourselves? The usual. Oh. Listen to this uh, guy. They give us military base or the legalized gun because we can shoot the gun. They don't have two heads. They don't have three heads. We are ready for fight. If the national government cannot protect us, if Nigeria cannot protect us, we can protect ourselves. Yes. We are not living here until the governor comes. That is my submission. Yes. My name is King Silin Dubisi, and I'm White Lion. That is my name. I am not scared of anybody. This is our land. Golingora is our area. We are not scared of anybody. We are not scared of anybody. We want them tomorrow. They should come tomorrow. We are waiting for them. This night they can come. We are waiting for them. They give us military base or the legalized go you hear her? Goning, I mean, Goning uh, Gola. Is it Goning Gora or Goning Gola? Somewhere in Kaduna, by the way. Southern Kaduna here. Yeah. And they took to the streets, I mean, took to the highway to express their disgust that every time they try to go back and defend themselves, the military will come and prevent them and start arresting them. So they are tired. They are done for with all of this. I mean, it's really sad. They're killing our people every day for this area. They're killing our people. They kill our brother. Yeah, they kill us. Yeah, they kill us. They kill my brother. Yeah, they kill us and all of that. You know. Ah, uh, I, I mean, sometimes this, this, I don't know how people are able to. I, I'm not even sure if, if people are actually really coping. 
I don't know how people have been handling this. Living in these areas, in this area, where you know that uh, or more, you feel the person now, and tomorrow morning, they don't kill, like, kill his entire family, his entire village, they don't wipe them out, and like that. Gone. And there's nobody that's going to be held responsible. Huh? Listen to this lady. They enter my house. When they enter, but I got first of all, we think they are security people. But when my girl go outside, before I know, I saw my husband running out of to my house. So immediately when I see my husband, I had to wet my children. So yeah, let's go because this one is not security. Let us go outside and I wet my children. Before my girl reach house, tell me say, see, now nah, kidnap I enter. My me and my children, we do already for them, run, we enter bush. We go lie down for I tell them to line line down one after the other. We all of us we lie down. When we lie down, I see them. They don't cover the whole place. Some people say, Oh yeah, madam, pack your children, come and cross, come and cross. So I now pack my children. I crawl to that side. As we begin to run, I know where to buy. My children, they know where clothes. So something shoot me for my leg. I said, let me come out that something that shoot me. Before I know, I don't see my children again. Everybody disappear. I don't see where they put them. They run. Me and my run follow one side. As we they run, now where one people see me, say, Mother, what did happen? I just they explain. They say, Oh, yeah, make I enter their house, make I enter their house. I say, I beg, I don't see my children more. I can't enter, I can't follow now without to see my children. Let me go and see my children. They say, No, no, make I follow them. Now say I follow them, go for their house. But as I did for their house, I don't get it of mine because my children, I don't see them. Now, so after the, these people, they stay for that street. Shooting gun, so they, they make sure their name. They make sure their name. Say, oh yeah, you say people know they for this house. The other one go say people they 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 make on enter and so they enjoy the shoot. Before I go, I don't come know what's gonna happen again for that street. So now let us wait this happen finish. We now come back because see my front window, they break everything, they enter, pack my two phone, pack my daughter home, pack the money where I keep, scatter, throw my clothes upside down as if they know my house very well. Don't share. Even my push share for Palo, then turn them. Taking that person hide here, hide for back of the the push share. They start out the whole thing. Now so I see myself this morning. Yo. Now so I see myself this morning. Yo. May government come and help us. May them come and help us for this kind of solution. Yo. May them bring new solution for us because we not do bad. We not do bad to pack up and go and we not do bad. I can't go and leave my I can't go and leave my house. I don't already built house. I can't carry my uh, my house for help go my village. I beg, let us beg to know what to do. Let them do well for us. Because we are suffering. We are suffering. I beg. Let <laughs> they said it is uh, Guanangora. I mean, that's the most you're going to hear. As after that, she's on her own. People like her, uh, many of those survivors, they are on their own. After what you just saw there. Oh, government should come and help us. Oh, government should come and do something for us. Oh, this is this is too much for us. Oh, nobody is coming to do anything for you. I promise you. I promise you. Including those who are living in the gated communities. I'm talking about some of those highly fortified communities where they have security and all that. There was a video that popped out on uh, on the social media last night and this morning. It's about. Uh, you know, a community in Lekki, I think. You know how these rich people are be. Yeah, we don't get to the stage where we say, "Oh, now go they hit the rich now." I was speaking to uh, a very uh, close uh, our friend today. In fact, uh, and I was uh, an elderly man. Okay, guy, I was like, "Baba, things are getting to a stage whereby the poor go they eat the rich." That you have something to your name will become a crime in the in the in the future that APC Ebekebe is building for you, and you will live in it, and you will probably manage to survive in it as well. And if not, well, fine. Eat the rich for now. The poor are eating the poor. Dog eats dog. But when they are done eating themselves, they will turn to you. A lot of you will think you have something to show for your. Hmm? Eat the rich, eat the rich. Now the same drainage where they carry water come up for your village, I mean for your estate, for your fortified uh, beautiful mansions and the rest of them. Now the same tunnel, now the same uh, drainage that go take entire your streets. You'll be lucky if you find them. If you're unlucky, that would be a story. A very different story. Somewhere in Lekki, 
where rich people, rich in of all, leaves. They receive a stranger visitor. Concierge, everybody, they panic. How you take enter here? How did you get here? What do you, what are you doing here? As they are, eat the rich. We are getting closer. Have they called, can you call the security, the estate security? The police security. So there's somebody inside? Yes, it is. I need here. Careful, please be careful. You don't go outside. You don't go outside. You don't go outside. Let me call him and hold him. Can you see him? Let everyone be very careful, okay? It would have been a different story. How he managed to walk through a drainage that moved straight into the estate to avoid all security and the rest of them uh, probably should tell all of you how easy eh? uh, the victims, you say, of uh, this ruined and destroyed economy of yours. You can tell them, well, is it because she, 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 everybody is not feeling it. Ni? It's not everybody that is feeling it. How could somebody now go and rob and say it's because of the economy? They play, Shogba. They play. They don't care if you are going to kill them. You know the type of uh, uh, poverty, the type of uh, uh, poverty that would now groom you to bring out the genius criminality in you. Now, when they catch you, people go, they ask questions. But when they don't catch you, that is your own also. In a ruined economy, like what you have in Nigeria, dog eat dogs. And then it's going to be the eat the rich. I'm promising you this. For those of you with the horse, you say you won't be rich. I want to be rich. They will blame you for what is, uh, well, I mean, what uh, Nigeria has become. They say, now, nah, how you think become rich if you don't be criminal? This country, we all of us, they, we don't get money to chop. Nothing. You, they drive new car. You, they, you just uh, opened a, I mean, sorry, uh, yeah, you just opened a new house and all that. You want to tell us, say, you, they also, they will blame you. And you will be probably, if you have a chance to ask them and say, is it because they, is it you not know, everybody that is feeling it? They play, Shubo. That's what you will get. In, I mean, crime will increase in a, in a, see, in the poverty capital of the world. Poverty. Hmm? is a very, very good ingredient when you want to breed, uh, what do you call, when you want to breed criminals, when you want to breed slaves and the rest of them, you can use poverty, systemic weaponization of poverty. And that's exactly what Nigeria is suffering from. 
what they didn't tell you, even though they said you should fuck off out Kumbale, you should give them time, you should do this or that, you should be blah, 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 that you have been able to man mommy handle it. You have no idea, do you? No, you don't. No, you don't. Where you have poverty, there will be increase in crime. And today, what do you have in Nigeria? People who are selling their bodies, uh, women, young, young girls selling their bodies for peanuts just to be able to feed and buy bone straights. Hmm? People whose lives no straights, they, they sell their body to buy bone straights. Hmm? If they carry one million right here, on top head, we be empty head. On top head, we no fee, we no fee pronounce, uh, uh, what do you call that thing again? Uh, oh, oh that's, that's actually a word they will say, you, you, de, you won't carry five, one million naira here on top the head. We no fee spell Dokomilo. You won't buy a 1.5 million uh, bone straights where your life no straights. So people are selling their bodies just to feed. Others who can sell their body, eh? What do they do? They resort to other criminal activities until they are caught. That is what poverty does to a country. It is an horrible nation destroyer. That's what they have weaponized in Nigeria. And if you still don't have a clue that uh, that hungry man does not see invading your home, Eh, robbing you or even kidnapping you for ransom as a crime. You will see it as a survivor. And that's what you call it, eat the rich. Yes. Where majority of you will be holed up inside your fortress, mini prisons. Because in Nigeria, when you, are, when you have money, okay? Somebody say, share the story. Listen to this, so it's just a little bit of a digression or talking about the level of the consequences of a destroyed country, destroyed economy with that theme population of young people. It is just that's why we told you that uh, Nigeria is sitting on a keg of gunpowder when it goes off, boom. Eh, Baba, nobody will have a clue where it's going to end. Let me share this story with you. I've heard it many times, million times, so I'll share it with you. Nigeria, a successful Nigerian is a mini local government. So as a Nigerian, you have to build your own house. You have to fence it for security. You have to provide your own security. You have to provide your own water, electricity, education for your children, health care for your family. And then uh, you have to contribute to also provide infrastructure for your communities. If you want any of this, so many, I mean, in a minimal way, right? An average Nigerian is a local government that provides everything. And from that, the criminals who have provided almost nothing, they will still tax that from you. So if you want to see a successful Nigerian, it will build a very big house. Then it will mount a very tall fence, like a prison yard. You still won't be satisfied. It will now put on the uh, what you call electric barbed wires on it to ward off intending intruders or invaders. Is he not going to be satisfied? He will now hire another person and give him, going to say, you need to guide the gates in case if criminals are coming. Who do you think they are fencing out the rest of you that want to also them? The rest of you who are going to be looking for people like them once the policies of government turned you into more poverty and desperado, they will be your easy target to show you that don't come closer to us. So we get fence very tall. You will need the ladder to climb. And if you are coming as well, don't touch those baba. You would, you may die electrocuted. All of this is to put themselves inside prison. A lot of you are going to be living inside your prison. So somebody said there was this, uh, you know, there was this uh, a woman. Who lost? She lost her, her diamond, and surprisingly, it was in the room where they have a lot of uh, rats. Just like you have rodent rat and love them inside this place. Now, how can you identify the rat that swallowed your diamond? How? How would you identify all of these? So they started looking and started running here, trying to get them. They couldn't find the diamond. 
So they now called an expert, John. So when John walked in, he said, where, where are the rats? He said, they are all inside that room. So when John walked in, John just walked straight. And he just grabbed one uh, mouse. Yeah? As he grabbed the mouse, he said, this is the one that swallowed your diamond. And they were like, how did you know? Like, how did you, you just walked in. Nobody could really find which of them stole the diamond. He said, no, 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 it's common. It's common for, uh, you know, for uh, a man or any human that the men, they start making money. They move away from the rest of the people. Yeah. That's how you know they already have money. And you see, with these rats, we believe that, yeah, it's easier. It's the one that just swallowed something big. He can't be bothered with the rest of them. So I easily identified him and, I, and he was paid. That was genius, right? It is typical of human beings. They were meant to make money to show that you are now better. Because you have to move out of that yourself contain and move to your new mansion. Okay? And also for the people, for the neighbors to know that you are not just like them because all everybody come here, come build us. You are different. Now you have to build yourself uh, tall fences. You have to put security in there. You have to put all of that up to show that uh, here you get. And like I said, Naso Nago tell them, say, yes, come and eat the rich. It doesn't matter how hard and how, 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 I mean, how long you worked hard for everything you have. The, the, the destination where Nigeria is headed, mm? they will walk straight into your bedroom to dispossess you, even if they will have to take your life. That is the destination where Nigeria is headed. Nigeria system is building, I mean, sorry, building criminals, breeding criminals. And those criminals will need to survive. And they would have to survive by taking whatever they can take from you. I promise you, it is the law of, uh, it is the law of Thomas. Don't ask me who is Thomas, because not every law, all of them are the read. Law of Thomas, me. So yeah, it's the rich. And with what we heard, even the uh, confessor, Shoyinka said, it's time for the government to stop ignoring the people because every injustice buried or every injustice method that anyone thinking to have been buried, right, will always come back. And the country is angry and hungry, you said, right? You can make of this whatever you like, okay? Listen to Confessor Shoyinka. Remove that man. He's not fit. To preside over any spiritual institution, anybody who commands immediately should become guilty of crime for inciting emulation, not left to preside over an institution for spirituality. Did I expect my challenge to be taken up? No, sir. I was living in another nation. No, not in another nation. I was speaking from another planet, a bigger planet. <laughs> so when we talk about nation being, nation building. Let me say I could make any sense out of what he said, but again, I shall hear when he said people cannot be ignored. You cannot ignore the people. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, let's go to the next one where people are already saying that if Kolu not do anything about this uh, issue of dollar this or dollar that and other things, right? They don't find it difficult to do their business now. Get ready for the petroleum increase, price increase. I'll put it to you. Please watch this to the end. Ipma met here today to discuss the burning issues that concern our business and that of Nigeria. And uh, we want a situation where we we'll do our business, there won't be any problem. We care for the people of this country and at the same time understand what the government Sorry, is doing. Uh, Ipma, we have a meeting today 
and uh, the meeting centered on uh, how we do our business and how the economy is affecting us. But we want to do our business in a way that the government too will have his way, we too will have our own business and uh, there won't be any problem. We appeal to the government to make sure that in the petroleum sector, things are being done well after the removal of the oil subsidy. Well, uh, the government should at least uh, listen to the NLC and make sure that the request they are making, they look into it a little bit so that it will help us because uh, incessant uh, strike will not help the economy. And the government has to do something about that. And on the refineries and the depots, the government should try as much as possible to make sure that the refineries are put in place and uh, they are working. That will help us in this country because the uh, importation under the regulation or removal of subsidy uh, is not easy. It's not going to all go well, even to the businessmen who are marketers and even to the public who are our people. Then again, the government should look into retail, NMPC retail, because NMPC retail is giving a lot of problems to independent marketers at the various depots where they are loading. They have even said that by on the 10th of March uh, 2024, they are going to remove marketers that don't have uh, licenses and uh, that didn't renew their licenses. Renewal of licenses depends on uh, when you have your tax clearance. And some of these marketers, their annual returns are around that March ending. And uh, as such, they can procure uh, a federal uh, inland revenue tax clearance to, to meet up that deadline. So the government should look into it if probably they don't want to, you know, encourage some sort of uh, petroleum product scarcity. Then thirdly, uh, the government too should look into NMDPRA. We have a lot of bridging claims which is pending in uh, NMDPRA. NMDPRA uh, is getting money from NMPC. And NMPC is a limited liability company now. They have declared